like to welcome to the stage, please, uh, to talk about the hidden gold mine, how gaming communities can drive monetization, Isaac Fuladi from Dynamo. So please welcome to the stage Isaac for the next talk of the, uh, the afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for attending, and thank you, Pocket Gamers, for hosting such an amazing event. My name is Isaac Fuladi. I'm the head of new sales for Dynamo. We're the first AI-powered social community OS. We help games drive business through their social media. Today, we're going to talk monetization. We're going to talk monetization specifically as it relates to your social communities, which we believe are hidden gold mines, underutilized, full of potential, ready to be mined, if only you guys had the tools to mine it. Let's get started. OK, so what's the status today? The industry is bleeding down. Monetization teams are tasked with raising the LTV, with raising revenues. At the same time, community is up, or community potential, or as we like to say, organic community potential. There are a few reasons for this. One of the reason is many gamers are now considering themselves as community members, not just gamers anymore. There's also a lot of interesting things happening with the use of DMs, which we'll get to in a few minutes. But it's the hardest time to acquire new customers. Customer acquisition costs are high. Uh, daily active users are down. Communities up. OK, still, many gaming communities and many gaming companies still view their communities as revenue black boxes. What do I mean by black boxes? They view them as a place where they don't want to invest much time, much energy. They feel like they're not going to get a lot out of it. Why do they think this? It's pretty simple. Most of the tools, most of the processes that many people in this room, I'm sure, are using in order to glean and get all the actionable data out of your social communities today are manual. They're manual and opportunistic. There's a lot of guesswork. There's lack of visibility. Who are these people hanging out in my social communities anyway? Are they my paying customers? Are they my VIPs? Are they my non-paying customers? There's a lack of visibility. Uh, many, many companies come to us and they say, everyone that's hanging out on my social communities are not my paying gamers. We've actually found out that's not the case. Uh, it's very time and labor intensive. Let's say you wanted to enhance your social communities and bring players back in game. You have to manually reply to people, manually send DMs and with links to bring them back in game. It takes a lot of work. It takes manpower. And there's always this gap between uh, impressions and results, like what's the ROI on my time, <clears throat> on my time, on my effort, uh, and will my social metrics even match up with my business metrics? Basically, long story short, manual and opportunistic is not the way of the future. It's not the way to go. It's not efficient. It's not, it's not timely. It's not scalable. There's risk for human error. There's no quality control. All of these manual processes, there's risk for human error when you transmit them from team to team internally. There's risk for human error when you transmit them from an outgoing employee to an incoming employee. I'm here to tell you that we at Dynamo think otherwise. Community is not a black box. Community is gold, underutilized, full of potential, waiting to be actualized if only you had the tools to mine effectively, if only you had the technology to completely transform your social channels into something meaningful, into something actionable, into gold. So the real question then becomes, OK, how do I dig this gold? How do I transform my social channels and use them in a scalable and sustainable way, not manual and opportunistic? After speaking with hundreds of social community managers and after streaming over a billion interactions for our clients themselves, we think we've come up with the three best strategies, best ways of thinking, best concepts, call them what you want on how to effectively mine this gold and effectively transform your social communities into gold, not black boxes. The first is going to be automation. Automation as it retains to your current retention tools, basically what you guys are doing on your social media already. The second strategy is going to be segmentation. Segmentation as it relates to personalization, which you'll see then relates to monetization. And the last one is going to be re-engagement. This is a new exciting channel. Uh, re-engagement meaning retargeting, which many gaming companies are having a lot of challenges with today. Let's start with automation. The way we see it today, social teams have two options. You could put up posts, and you could broadcast. Post is pretty simple. Everyone in this room knows what post is. You think of creative content, and you put up a post, and it goes out into your social following, and random people then reply and engage with you. It kind of ends there. 
Broadcast is a new thing that Meta introduced last year. It was called recurring notifications. Now it's called marketing messages. The name doesn't matter. What matters is you guys now have the ability to send out scheduled DMs to your players on a daily, monthly, weekly basis uh, or on demand if you want, just like you could post on demand or with a scheduler. All schedulers, by the way, Dynamo works with. And that's about it. It's a new channel that they're trying to push. I'm going to focus today on the posts part. And I'm going to fo focus on posts, um, but when you add a layer of gamification in the posts, you should gamify your posts. What do I mean by gamifying posts? One example could be Q&A. Uh, answer correctly in the comment below and receive a prize in the DM. And then you have to, again, manually copy-paste, put the link in the DM, and bring players back in the game. Another example of how you can gamify your posts is using raffles. Uh, answer correctly in the comments section and tag two friends by Friday, and we will pick three random winners to receive a big in-game reward. These are all examples of gamifying posts. Everyone could and should do them, but again, it takes a lot of manual time and labor in order to manage that content, which is why we at Dynamo came up with dozens of game-oriented templates and game-oriented automations to handle the heavy lifting for you. You're going to see two examples in a couple slides soon. With advanced intelligent automations, you save time because we handle all of the boring, repetitive, manual tasks that come with each post, such as replying to people, such as sending those DMs with the links to bring them back in game, such as liking comments or deleting spam comments, things of that nature. We automate it. We help you scale in a way where you don't need to add any additional headcount or processes. You set it and forget it, and you're able to scale uh, with the current team that you have, with the current uh, community that you have. And you do so by keeping your tone of voice, your brand's tonality, your brand's vibe intact. We call it scalable authenticity. Scalable authenticity is a motto amongst the Dynamo family of brands. It's very, very important to keep your brand intact. Authenticity and automations do not contradict each other. People think, oh, automations are bad because it misses that human touch. If set up the right way, automations simply accelerate what you would do anyway. And it saves you tons of time. It helps you scale in an authentic way. Take a look at these two examples. These are two clients of ours. If you look on the left, our client got 11,000 shares. Having your users share your post is a dream. But... The steps you need to take and the work that goes into incentivizing them to share and having that happen is very manual, time intensive, and people tend to not do it, which is why they view communities as a revenue black box. But if you have advanced intelligent automations to help you out with that, you could scale. People will share for a reward in return. Those rewards should be automated. They get what they want. You get what you want. It's a giveaway, which in this case, you get what you want. In this case, you're having your organic social community market for you. If you look at the other example here, one of our clients got 64,000 comments in 20 minutes. That's tens of thousands of comments every few minutes, fully automated, fully attended to. Every comment was attended to based on player type. Every comment was attended to based on keywords. There was no human intervention. It was a live game show. This was a very, very successful event, an event that they would not have been able to have and manage without advanced automations. This brings us to our next strategy or concept of how you should be leveraging your social communities and turning the channels into gold. Funny enough, uh, there's no personalization in social. It's a one-to-many kind of channel, like we've been going over. You put up a post, it goes out to your following, and people re-comment, they comment on your post, and they engage. You hope that you're paying players. Maybe some random people would be good too, but you really don't know who those people are that are engaging with you in your social channels. You don't know the breakout of who are your VIPs versus your dormants versus just random people that are commenting. Segmentation, if you, if you implement some segmentation technology, you could segment the people in your social channels and gain insight into who those people are. And if you were able to do so, if you knew who was engaging with you on your social channels, you could then have targeted, specific, personalized messages and DMs based on those people, based on those player type. Segmentation leads to personalization, leads to monetization. And if you had insight into who was commenting on your social channels, it would transform your social channels from one to many to one. 
Dynamo is the only company in the world that takes your user's business ID and ties them to the social ID, giving you insights into your social communities like never before. We show you information such as of all the comments that you receive and all the people engaging with you in your communities, how many of them are your VIPs, how many of them are your dormants, how many are just random people that are commenting. And with this visibility, with this actionable data, you transform your social community into what was once thought of as a revenue black box into gold. Take a look at this information. This information is, of course, anonymized. Beachbum is one of our clients. We work with five of their studios. Beachbum ran a segmentation with Dynamo. So again, we tied their user's business ID with their social ID and gave them visibility into who's engaging with them on their social channels. And they now have access to this type of information. They know how many of their social users are their paying players, are their VIPs, are their whales. They know, they know by player type based on last login, based on churn, based on active. We have clients that have done segmentation with us that found out that 60%, 60 percent, six zero of the people engaging with them on their social channels are their paying customers. We also have a few clients that ran segmentation and they found out that 100% of their VIPs all engage with them on social. Data that they had absolutely no idea about and now they've completely pivoted their entire social media efforts in order to target them more personally, more specifically, and monetize them. Here's two more examples of how powerful segmentation could be. If you look on the left, we have a client where with his game, more so than typical, he needs to treat each one of his player types very differently, more so than typical. So he ran a segmentation. He now knows on his social channels what the breakout is of his VIP players versus dormants versus churn versus last log and so on and so forth. The keys are limitless. And now he has specific targeted messages and DMs that get sent out to each of them. They're very personalized. So again, you could hopefully see the uh, concept starting to stack up. He has automatic messages sent out that are personalized because he ran segmentation. He now has access to this data. If you look on the right, this is actually a very interesting use case of how segmentation could help you. We have a client that found out that, on, that when his players reached a certain level in his game that was difficult to pass, they churned. And he wanted to fix this. So he ran a segmentation with Dynamo. And he ran a segmentation. He segmented his user base based on what level they were on his game. And now, any time one of his players that's on that difficult level engages with him on his social channels, an automatic personalized DM gets sent to them with helpful links to help them, pa to help them, pass, that, to help them pass that level, thus decreasing the chance they churn, thus monetizing them, thus increasing LTV. It's another very, very interesting use case of the power of segmentation and why every game should be gamifying, building a community, and then implementing segmentation technology. And this brings us to our last, our final uh, concept way of thinking. Uh, this brings us from engagement to re-engagement. And by re-engagement, I'm talking about retargeting capabilities, which many gaming companies are having a lot of challenges with today. Let's go over some of today's challenges. Uh, I don't need a harp really on the first one. We all have scars. Ever since Apple cut the IDFA cord, retargeting has been kind of impossible. Uh, customer acquisition costs are extremely high, which makes retargeting even more important because you really need to retain your current base. You need to raise their, their LTV because it's expensive to acquire new users. Antique channels have seen better days. What I mean by antique channels is email and SMS. These are obsolete. They have very low success rates, very low opt-in rates. Push notifications have seen better days as well. First of all, it's app dependent. So if your users delete the app, they will no longer receive push notifications what was once by default opt-in, push notifications are now by default opt-out. And even if you get push notifications, I'm sure you guys noticed Apple obviously stacks them on the home page, so the visibility is down. And last but not least, the biggest challenge is you cannot retarget boutique segments with the current retargeting capabilities if you retarget through Google or something like that. You really, the way the structure is set up today, you have to target like five to 10,000 people. You can't target a hyper-specific boutique little segment of people and make it personalized. What does all this mean? This means that re-engagement and retargeting capabilities today are hard, and you reach less than 50% of your audience at scale. Or do you? We went from automations to help build your community at scale in a scalable, authentic way. 
Then we have engagement and segmentation to make it personalized. And the mix of those two with the challenges that we just went over, a new retargeting channel was born, a new re-engagement channel. You should be re-engaging with, with Dynamo. We can help you re-engage and retarget your users through your social communities. And when you do it through your social communities, and yes, your organic social communities, it helps combat all of the challenges and limitations that we just went over. If you retarget through your social communities, it is platform and device agnostic. It doesn't matter if it's Apple or Android because you're riding on the social channels. You're doing it through Facebook. It's perfect for the post-IDFA world because there's no more user level data. But again, we tie your user's business ID with their social ID and so you know exactly who they are and you could be hyper targeted. This is your data, this is your traffic. It's much more affordable than other retargeting avenues. It has much higher click-through rates, much higher success rates. It is app independent. So even if your users delete your app, they will still receive your retargeting uh, messages because it goes through Facebook and no one's gonna delete the Facebook app. And most importantly is the bottom one, you can retarget boutique segments, specific little custom boutique segments. So what's a boutique segment? Let's say you guys wanted to retarget uh, only the 500 players whose balance in game is low, and if they had an uptick in their balance, it would increase the LTV, and maybe they would convert to a VIP. That's a little boutique segment that you could target in a very personalized and effective way. Another example of a boutique segment is let's say you guys wanted to retarget only your VIPs that haven't logged in in three days. You could do so because you could do so through Dynamo. You could do so through this new retargeting and re-engagement channels that handles all of the challenges for retargeting in the past. And we're very, very excited about it. Here are some of our gaming clients that are using one or all three of the concepts and the strategies that, uh, that I went over today. Automations with segmentation, with retargeting, completely transforms your social from a black box into gold, into something that's sitting there for the taking, waiting to be actualized, ready to go. And with Dynamo, we can help you do it. To recap, the industry is bleeding down. Monetization teams are tasked with raising LTV, raising revenues, retargeting, and re-engagement capabilities today are hard and you cannot reach your audience at scale. Social media and your social communities are gold. They're full of potential. The, we now have the tools and the technology to help you actualize that. And everyone should start adopting, the, we think the gaming community at large should start adopting all of these concepts and these strategies in order to turn their social channel into gold and in order to drive business for their games. Thank you so much. Thank you, Isaac. I'm gonna stay up here. Very good, very good. Thank you very much. Wow, a whistle-stop tour of that. Now, we are, I think, just in the last few seconds, but does anyone have a question? Let's take a question. There's one here in the front row. Thank you very much, and we'll see how we're doing for time then, but uh, you covered a lot of ground there. Go for it. Hi, thank you for the presentation. It was super interesting, first of all. Um, you talked earlier about that you guys actually connect the player ID to the, to the community ID. Now, this is super interesting. Can you elaborate more on that, on what's this community ID exactly? What, what is that? Like, it's a... Uh, okay. What exactly do you want me to elaborate? So that you connect kind of the community right. ID to the player ID, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we you, you show these charts where you actually give this distribution to right. different kind of players. How this connection is being created? Like. So technically how it's being created is the, the quick answer is we came up with a similar matching technology similar to what Facebook has uh, with, with their matching technology with their ads. And the way we do it is just a very simple uh, one-way API that we open up, and we don't know any of your users' data. It's a unique code that you guys share with us. It just takes a few hours, and then we match the business ID with the social ID to give you all of that, uh, all of that visibility. By the way, everything that I went over today, all of the automations to help with automatic replies and automatic likes and to send DMs with links to bring players back in game, that has no tech integration. No tech integration. The only thing is if you want to implement some of the segmentation technology, which is, of course, very powerful in order to personalize your attack and really convert at a higher clip. That's great. Thank you, Luke. We're, we're out of time, so we'll have to stop there. That's great. If you want to find out more, please do hunt Isaac down on Meet to Match or the emails on screen there. Um, again, a round of applause. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank that you. was good. Thank you.